When it comes to a journey of deliciousness, you have to come to the Redwood Steakhouse right here at the Cal, and it is absolutely brand new and remodeled. Everything is great with the remodeled restaurant, but the genius behind it is right here, executive chef Henry. Chef, thank you so much for having us here. But Appreciate you coming. Oh, I want to hear about you, because I've heard that you've actually had a long relationship with the Cal. You've been here for... Yes, yes. You know what? Uh, it's kind of... I'll tell you like this. I started in 1981. Wow. Are you ready? I've done 35 years with this property. That's amazing. Yes, I have done everything in the back of the house that can possibly be imagined. How's it going, guys? And this last um, 20 years, I've been chefing, and it's been a great experience. You know, and, and talk about that experience as the executive chef. Running this restaurant, d does that journey influence your cooking and influence your style? Yes, you know what? It's it's the um, it's the culture that we have, here, the Hawaiian culture that has uh, given me the inspiration to do, you know, different types of food. I love it. Uh, and you know, it's it's been a great journey. It's been a great ride. Oh my gosh! And, and I, we're gonna see the food in a bit, but I gotta ask. Yeah, this beautiful restaurant. I mean, it's brand new. Just come together. Yes. For you, what is it like to work here? And, and the details. I mean, gosh. It's you know so what? We. Um, Prior to this, what we did, we had moved the restaurant mm -hmm. over to the Pullman Grill, yep. which is over at Main Street, yep. which is another great uh, oh, great spot. location. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, so we were over there for three months. While we were gone, they got all this together. So mm -hmm. we uprooted the restaurant, mm -hmm. did it over there, uprooted it again, and brought it back with a brand new menu. Mm -hmm. And it's been great. I got a uh, great couple of guys back there. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And I just can't wait for you to check out what oh, we got going. Oh, I will. But the ambiance is so beautiful. The lighting. You got a great bar. Beautiful cooking there. But I got to ask for you. Mm -hmm. For people, and you, you, you've connected. So for people that come back again and again, and now they're coming to see a restaurant, and they see the new changes. How does it make you feel inside, Chef, when they're just like... You, you know what? It's, it's, it's a great thing. So what I do, I come out at least twice during the night. Wow. Yeah. What I, I try to get the feedback from our, our, our guests and um, see what's working and what's not. But so far, everything is working. It's firing on all cylinders. I love it. And it's, it's a blessing that we have repeat customers, you know, and that's, that's important for me. Mm -hmm. uh, so when they, when they come out to have a nice, comfortable meal, quality food, yep. uh, great service, uh, beautiful atmosphere, uh, an awesome bar. Yeah, can't hey, go wrong. Yeah. So, well, Chef, speaking of your food, I see some of the food coming out right here. Is it oh, okay if we oh, talk okay. about a few of these dishes? Okay. Oh, my gosh, look at this. This is absolutely amazing. Okay, I, I, I don't know where to start because it all looks good, but, but let's go ahead and start right here. OMG, okay. what is this? This is a French shortbread. Oh my gosh. Uh, Sold on a garlic mashed potato. Yes, with um, honey uh, braised carrots. Yes. You and, know, and, and we love our short ribs in Hawaii, oh yeah. but this is such a unique and wonderful thing. Yes, well, you know, what I did was I had taken out the, the three bones. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Take it, wrap it around one central bone. Yes, yes. So that's a, that's a nice 16-ounce short rib, and it's awesome. And it's fall off the bone. My mouth is watering it's, here. It's I apologize, chef. Okay, can we fall off the bone. So what do we have right here? You know what, right here? This is a pineapple shrimp. Mm -hmm. This is a, a salt and pepper uh, shrimp with a pineapple sauce on the, very, on the bottom. It is awesome. Um, it has a little bit of a little bit of heat to it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it has a little bit of heat yeah. to it, but it's, it's not a fancy. It, it's one of those dishes to where you you take one bite and you go, wow, what's that flavor? I love that. I yeah. love that. Yes, yes. that's that culinary journey. That we're yes, about. I have a little spice in there. I, I won't mention on air, but it's awesome. It's good. It's, it's a little awesome. case. It's a secret. You got to come down. Now this though, uh, this is cool. I'm very this seared seared ahi chef. What yes, oh, yes. Okay. This is a, a lemon peppered seared ahi, mm. and it's nestled on a jicama coleslaw, uh, granny apple, jicama, green cabbage, and purple. A and the, the texture, the comparison between the fish and that must be so unique. Yes, yes. It, I was looking for us uh, to take a journey with the, mm. with, with the plate. And underneath what you have, you have a sriracha aioli, mm -hmm. and you have wasabi aioli. Awesome. And it's, it, it's been a, a great thing. And also, as far as that slaw goes, uh -huh. that's a lemon miso. Wow. Miso. Uh, dressing. Gotta love the miso. Yes. Gotta love the miso. Yes. And then, speaking of miso. Yeah, speaking of miso, I see some <laughs> on here. What do we got here, Chef? What we have here, this is a miso sea bass wow. that's nestled on bok choy, wow. a little sauteed bok choy, and the sauce is awesome. And what we do with that, and that's marinated for at least three days to make sure that flavor is penetrated throughout the fish. Oh my God. And it's, it's seared, finished in the oven, 
-hmm. And that is one of my number one sellers. You know, I can see that too because the bok choy, I mean, in a way, chef, I almost feel like I'm back in grandma's home. Like, see? this is see? very, very, see? oh my god. That's what I was shooting for. That's awesome. That's chef, what I, I was shooting for. You hit it right on the day. Now, I gotta ask before mm -hmm. we finish it up here. Visually, very beautiful. I know people say that, I mean, the taste, I know, but as a chef, when you put it together, I mean, it's art. It's yes. artwork, isn't well, it? Yes, yes, uh, yes. You know? Now, speaking of art, I gotta pull this up. Wow. What is this right here, last but not least? This is a 22 ounce bone in ribeye. This is also one of my best sellers as well. This is a steakhouse, so we have yes. to present this as well. I, I love your culinary influence and your journey. It's something that I feel very much at home, but at the same token, I've never had anything like this before, <laughs> and I'm really looking forward to trying it. But, Chef, thank you so much. You're very welcome. Oh, I, I appreciate it. We can have you. dinner sometime. Oh, we will. And actually, I'm going to bring all my family and friends because, again, this is a lot of good food. Well, thank you very much. You know, Trini, I did bring a bunch of family and friends there, and, you know, locals will feel so much at home because they, they, they know the culinary basis of where the chef comes from, but he takes it to a whole nother level, and it's so good. Mm. Oh, so good. So it wasn't done when I was there. I it's know. September, so that's now right. I need to go back and check And, and you saw where it was, right by the casino. It's so yes. beautiful, but once you come in, it's like... A whole other world. It's very quiet. Yeah. It's very. It's subdued. right next to the California Noodle yes. House, mm -hmm. which is mm -hmm. another great restaurant. Yes, at yes, the yes. Cal. Oh, I love yeah. the Cal, and it's just so nice that they always think about making the changes, but thinking about us here in Hawaii when they do it. So, love the Cal. <laughs>